So my message to the government is everyone wants our country to succeed in this and to beat this killer unseen virus and we all need our economy to reopen. So any messaging has to be explicit, uh, unambiguous and emphatic, which at the moment I think many people think Stay Alert is not doing. Um, and I think we do need uh, differential treatment for different sectors of the economy. A lot of arts freelancers in my city, it used to be known as BBC Borough because it's near um, Television Centre. So a lot of those people who've gone freelance who are falling through the cracks of the various support schemes. So we welcome the stuff that's in place, but, you know, could do better. That's my message to the government. And, and this is only temporary. That's another thing. You know, we will get to the other side of this. And it's often said that we can't go on as we did before. After every crisis, people say we cannot return to the broken system. But I think this time we really do have to make sure that is the case. My message to the government is uh, we need to rebuild uh, public confidence in going out to public spaces. Uh, we need more clarity around public transport and the measures that will be in place to keep people safe. And we need, I think, a great uh, more direction around the use of masks. I think we are being too ambiguous about the use of masks. And I think that level of, of, of protection will just help uh, build confidence. And even though it may not uh, protect the person wearing the mask, we know it will protect other people in the vicinity. So if everybody's wearing masks, surely that must help. Um, we want to recognize this is the new normal <clears throat> and this will be with us for a while. So we have to start taking those measures now that uh, uh, release us from lockdown, but also build trust and confidence. I think my message is that um, for absolutely the right reasons throughout this pandemic, we focused on an R number to ensure that we had a handle and a control on how we measured the effectiveness of what we're doing. I think as we move out of COVID-19, um, we need a new number. We need perhaps a C number, which is either you'll see for credibility or you'll see for confidence, because there is going to be a tipping point between perception, which is all about the message, and experience, which is all about the doing and the feeling and the experiencing of the government's plans for our recovery. And we've got to make sure, and I believe the government has to make sure throughout the weeks and months ahead, that the tipping point is always in favour of the experience rather than the message. Otherwise, the credibility and the confidence will not be there and we will all collectively struggle to emerge in the way that we want to emerge. Lockdown saved lives and the UK public and businesses have been fantastic in adhering to it uh, in any way they can. For the UK economy to now start to return to what will be a new normal, the public need to have confidence that they can emerge from lockdown themselves and begin to use businesses. The UK roadmap is the first part of doing that, but the government needs to be much, much clearer on what their levels are, how they'll be enacted, when they will be triggered, and what's expected under people for each one. And that means covering off the micro risk to ensure that individuals feel safe and covering off the macro risk to ensure that the whole of the UK feels safe together. And finally, what's the containment strategy that goes alongside that? We need to know how government plan on using testing, tracing and other measures to keep the disease at bay at every level of its plan.